Hey guys, hey this is the same set where we caught a bobcat a few days ago and uh, today we've got a raccoon. He was so muddy I didn't know what he was when I saw him from uh, back over there. We had a real bad rain last night. Yeah, he is covered in mud. Alright guys, we'll be back. Hey guys, another beautiful morning out here. We got a beaver right here. He was up on the bank, caster mound, with this little uh, slough right here. Uh, third or fourth beaver from here. And then uh, around the other side of the tracks over there, we've got another beaver in a 3.30 in the channel. Uh, I said, uh, I won't reset the other one because it's uh, too exposed to the road. I'll have to come back later on. It's a little darker. And uh, I'm probably not going to reset this one right now. Uh, I need to get caught up on my skin and flesh and stuff like that. And uh, I'm in double digits beavers. And uh, yeah, so I need to get some stuff taken care of. Well, anyway, happy to get this, man. We'll be back. Hey guys, we're out here in this beautiful morning. Uh, same little pool here. We've taken several muskrats and uh, uh, a couple of really small beaver. We got this little channel that runs back up here, and uh, there's the highway right up there. You got a little small piece of a beaver dam right here, and then up a little bit farther, there's a even smaller bit than that. Last year they had this thing really dammed up, and. Uh, we snared a few coons off the uh, dam there and caught a couple of foxes. They worked down this way in a few sets. And then we got one really, really nice beaver here. Uh, this trap has been here for close to two weeks. I was actually getting ready to pull it today and uh, go set it somewhere else. But anyway, yeah, we got this nice, you know, this beaver's on the small side. I'm very happy to get him. Uh, you know, I wasn't really expecting this. Uh, I've got several more sets uh, farther down, so either it was living in this pool here or uh, maybe my other traps are full of beavers. I don't know. Uh, yeah, cool. So uh, I'll get this thing out of here and uh, I'll decide if I want to reset here or not. I don't think that I am, but anyway. Well, let me shut up and we're going to get on down the line. We'll be back. Hey, guys. Just want to give you a, or show you guys an otter toilet. Droppings or throw up right there. It's more right there. Uh, right there. Here, that's got some pretty good sized fish scales in it. All back in here. You can see that log right there. Just on the other side of that is where we caught an otter in a bank hole a couple days ago. And this is the little point of land that I was telling you about that. Uh, you know, otters will get up and use for a toilet and stuff like that. Well, anyway, uh, looks like a little trail going through here. And I may put a few sets over here. I uh, just want to show you that, guys. And, uh, well, it's cool. A little more of that lake that we're on here. All right, uh, we'll be back. Hey, guys, we're on that same little point of land where uh, the otter toilet is right over here. And you get this old tree that's flipped over. Of course, right over there's where we caught the otter. And uh, it's got deer tracks out here on this this log right here. But you follow this log out, of course, it goes out in the water. This thing is covered in droppings. Some of this, I suspect, is coon, and some of it's otter. Some may be canine. Some of it's older than others, some of it's fresh. Uh, might be a good spot for a snare. Might put a few sets around here. Yeah, cool. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna shut up. We'll be back. It's right here this morning, and we got a bobcat. We got one uh, just down from here the other day. This one's a little bit smaller. I don't know if you hear him growling at us or not. It's a nice cat there. Yep. This is, I brought my son with me today. Usually when he goes with me, I don't catch anything but possum. So today we got a bobcat. So I guess, I guess I can take him to the shell station today. Yay! What do you have to say about that? Yay? Yay. Okay, good. All right, we'll get this thing taken care of and uh, we'll get a better look at him. We got a gray fox in the sit just a few days ago. All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're right here on the trap line again today. And, uh, I've got my son with me and I finally caught something with him other than possums or nothing. And we have, like I just said, history in the making. 
I have caught my first red fox. I've been trapping on my own since I was about 13 years old, and I have never caught a red. And here he is. That's the same set. That's the same set where we caught a uh, bobcat just a couple days ago too. Yeah. Cool. We're gonna get him taken care of. We'll be back. Come sit down here. Hey guys, here we are today's catch. We got the uh, got a very nice beaver, uh, and uh, red fox, first one I've ever caught. And a nice bobcat. I'll put a little cat food down for the kitty here. That's some uh, DP bait, but uh, it's my first ever red fox. Beautiful. Uh, I really haven't ever seen that many, and. Uh, I said today was history in the making, and uh, of course the trap we got it in was the same trap we caught a very nice bobcat in a few days ago, and then uh, it was just, you know, 20 yards or so now before we got this bobcat right here, but yeah, cool. And we got that bobcat in the same set where we got a gray fox. Uh, yeah, cool. Well, I've been wanting to catch a red fox for the longest, and uh... You know, I'm, I'm happy I caught it, and in the same hand, I'm a little sad that I caught one. If, if that makes any sense, you know, you you finally reach your goal, or you finally, you know, get to the top of that mountain, and then you're, you know, you're like, yeah, what next? But, uh, yeah. I think that I'm going to tan this one, and, uh, yeah, I'll tan it, we'll keep it. Um, yeah, sure. Beautiful animals. All fur bears from here are pretty. I don't care. Skunks, possums, uh, you know. But anyways, yeah. Well, I'm going to shut up and uh, get these things skinned. And uh, Nice white belly on that thing. Well, we'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you can see this because of the light. It looks like I have a gray fox drowned. I had a uh, pocket set right over here, baited with some muskrat lure and an apple. And uh, you know, this water is almost over my rubber boots right here. I could tell something had torn this up over here. And uh, when I stepped in here, I thought I was stepping on a log. But you know, I'm, I'm kind of used to walking in here. I'd either show me any little logs right here where I'm walking, and it felt kind of soft. And uh, when I kind of kicked them up and saw what it was, I thought it was an otter. And I said, This thing might not be dead. You know, he might bite me, but. Uh, Looks like it's a gray fox. Uh, give me a second, we'll pull him up out of here. Wow. That's not the first drowned gray fox I've ever had. Uh, I caught one one time in a dirt hole set, then we had a really heavy rain that night, and the water came up about four or five feet, and uh, he was drowned, but uh, yeah, cool, man. Wow, I was not expecting this. This may not be a big deal to some people, but it is to me. That's uh, wow. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna look at this thing out of here and shut up and get on down the line. Hey guys, had a couple of viewers that wanted me to come back to Voodoo Forest or make another video of it, and uh, so here we are. We got a couple of carcasses I need to drop off here. This is just kind of on the side of our property. Skulls and stuff here. Some carcasses and stuff we caught this year. More skulls over there and stuff like that. This was the skull tree in the other video that we had. Uh, just a old cedar tree. A lot of the skulls got blown out of there when the uh, tornado came through last year. Uh, is there. I've got a fox and some possums right here. So, uh, set them down there. Now, all the possums I like to take and put in this tree right here. And uh, these are in the tree. There's a few more there. And uh, of course, they've been kind of knocked down. 
there's been buzzards up here there's been coyotes up here uh most of my beaver carcasses that i've thrown up here are gone I really don't know why I like sticking the possums there. I just do. But anyways, let's leave those inks out of the bones from past carcasses that were there. Uh, when I throw carcasses up here, usually the first thing to go are the beavers and muskrats. Uh, I like to use as much of those as I can for bait. Uh, the last things to go are the... Uh, Coyote and possums. We had a beaver carcass right there. There's a gut pile off of one. Like I said, uh, there were some buzzards up here earlier. Uh, there are definitely some coyotes up here uh, a few nights ago. And uh, my dog Brownie, you know, she's up here barking all the time. Some of the stuff she messes with. But, uh, you know, she hasn't eaten 10 beaver carcasses, so. But uh, anyways, like I said, this is just a place where over the years we've thrown all of our uh, carcasses and stuff like that. And uh, the reason I started doing this, back when I first started trapping, I was reading National Geographic. And it was talking about some Indian tribe somewhere, uh, I want to say like in Canada or wherever. And whenever they would get through, you know, eating all they could off an animal, they would take the remains and either throw them in the uh, lake or river or hang them in a tree and I'm sure that's just you know there's like the spirit of the animal going back but you know that's kind of like the circle of life and uh, you know then the uh, scavengers that eat the rest of it and everything else but anyways so I started doing that you know I started just throwing stuff up here and hanging in the trees or whatever and uh, one day my mom had come up here squirrel hunting we like to squirrel hunt up here and she came back and she said uh, you need to take all that stuff down Somebody's gonna think we're doing voodoo, and so the name Voodoo Force just stuck. Uh, got a lot of beaver skulls right here. I like to put the beaver skulls up here in the trees uh, for some reason, but yeah. So whenever I'm up here just doing whatever, squirrel hunting or whatever, and I find some you know skulls that have been scattered around, I, I just kind of like to stack them around the bottoms of the trees and this, that, and the other. All right, guys. Well, that's Voodoo Forest, and uh, I said, he, so there's, there's Brownie eating on that gut pile. And uh, I think you see there's a bunch of drag marks in here where Sussman's dragging the carcasses around. Uh, I'd love to come here and set some traps, but as you can see, the kitties up here, and of course, there's Brownie. Of course, I could lock them in and come check them in the morning time, but uh, anyways, yeah, maybe one day I will. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna shut up and uh, see you later. Bye.